Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've got something new today, and this is the mini Sonic the Hedgehog figure. It is maybe two to three inches tall. Uh, it's the five points of articulation. It's the mini figures, not the four inch figure. Um, I would probably say this is actually two and a half inches. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. Sonic the Hedgehog figures are hard to come by right now because of the movie. Uh, deservedly so. I still haven't seen the movie, but um, happy to have found this and um, let's uh, open this together and see what it can do. <gasps> Alright, so before I open this, I want to take a look at the box. The box is really cool. It has like the, the ring behind the figure. Uh, it has a little nice graphic of Sonic the Hedgehog in the back. Got the Iconic logo on the bottom. It's made by Jax. Then you got another picture, figure photography on the back. I did see this in the store. I don't know why I didn't pick that up, but got Mecha Sonic, got Sonic, which we have in, in hand right now. Tails. We've got Moto Bug, and then Crab Meat. All really cool. Sonic has some like legendary. Um, characters, but let's open this up and see what this can do. able to get this out of here okay so um, the figure may not look that tall but when you turn it to the side it's got some got some decent heft to it for a small figure uh, this is actually the pose he makes when he finishes a stage um, one of my favorite platform games Sonic the Hedgehog I was actually more of a Sega guy than a Nintendo person. Um, my parents picked up a Sega Genesis instead of Super Nintendo. Um, still happy about that. I, uh, I wish like I could have had both, but now I'm able to get both. So I'm on the lookout for a Sega, which actually I do have, and a Super Nintendo. So I'm actually, uh, well actually I just got both of those. So. Um, happy to have both of those in my collection now as an adult but um, yeah you could actually move the head left to right the arms are pretty good you can just go up and down I think you could go like there's a lateral movement yeah you could do that too move that laterally it's a little bit loose already but um, it is one of the affordable figures it's not high-end so I'm not expecting in terms of quality like anything great uh, what really stands out to me is the um, uh, what is it? the sculpting like just the uh, the spikes in the back that looks amazing not really much to this figure um, except that it is the original um, Let's see, sculpting, it just looks uh, more like the original figure, or the original um, character from like the 90s. Uh, I really like how like a deep blue it is. That's really nice. I see a lot of custom figures where they paint, paint the Nike or like the Adidas sign on there, but this is uh, this is iconic to me. I wouldn't change that for the, for anything. Really cool. Get a little close up there. I like the the little green hue on the eyes. So far, I'm not seeing much like paint. Um, paint mistakes uh, I think they did a really good job of painting this figure the sculpting is just 
that's the thing that's just really catching me. This is, you know, really amazing. Uh, one of the difficult things of having a Sonic figure is like that pointy nose. That's going to break off if you're not careful. So just be careful with your Sonics. Uh, that'll break off. And a lot of times this is going to rub off. So all you, can, you have to do is just take a Sharpie and then um, paint it with the Sharpie. But anyways, yeah, that's the Sonic that I picked up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll, I'm hoping to be a little more consistent with my videos. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.